What's up, everyone? This is Tatum. I'm back with another episode of Flowers, where today I'm going to be talking about an album that just reached its 20-year anniversary. And whenever great hip-hop albums hit those milestones, uh, I like to show them appreciation because we're finally getting to the level in hip-hop where our albums are actually, you know, getting these decades behind them and they're starting to withstand the test of time. So without further ado, today I'm giving flowers to Nas, Stillmatic. The reason I wanted to do this, uh, Flowers, and let me just say this before we start. I don't think Stillmatic is a, a classic album. I think it's an album that, to me, saved Nas' career. And I got in debates with people on on here <laughs> uh, who, who say or believe that Stillmatic is a classic. And, you know, I get that, but I think it's... It, I think it's some great songs, <laughs> but I think for what the album means to Nas, it, I think the, how can I say this? I don't think it's a classic, but like I said, I think it's the album that saved Nas' career. Um, you got to think of the time he's coming off. Uh, I Am Nostradamus, The Little Hiatus. I think Queen's Bitch Finest was in there somewhere. This is in the midst of one of the most, probably the best hip hop battle, quote unquote, unquote that we had between him and Jay-Z. And I just think this album, I wanted to talk about it just for that reason alone, for bare minimum, you know? I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I'm going to talk about some things I love about this album. And I'm also going to talk about some things that I don't love about the album. But all in all, I'm going to give my honest take. So let's get to it. Wow, this album came out December 18, 2001. 20 years. It's crazy that this and the Blueprint just celebrated their 20 years anniversary. That's just crazy. I remember... December 2001, I was 11, and I had this CD. Uh, this is probably my first Nas CD that I owned. Um, obviously, I'm a big Jay-Z fan, so coming off that and just, uh, I was aware of Nas, but this is the first album that I actually, like, sat down with and uh, just took in. I know some people are going to look at this and say, if you were 11, what did you know? Trust me, I was, <laughs> I was a little, like, it's something with me and music. I was ahead of my time. Just a little pat on the back. Um... But I remember listening to this and going to that first song, Stillmatic, the intro, uh, Blood of a Slave, Heart of a King. That B, who did that? I don't, somebody named Hangman 3. I don't even know who that is. That's the thing with Nas. It'll always be some random producer. You just don't know. But uh, that was like a little, it was epic. It kind of, it kind of, uh, it just felt great to hear Nas or for me, just to hear him start and say, uh, the flow is Stillmatic. I crawled up out of that grave, wiping my dirt, cleaning my shirt. They thought I'd make another Illmatic, but it's always for what I'm moving. Never back with stupid, here's another classic. See, notes is falling from the sky. Like, just the way the Nas, and this is probably like my sixth, fifth Nas uh, video this year. Uh, and I probably got one more to do. <laughs> Lost Tapes is coming. But uh, just that wordplay that started off like that, it, it, was, it was always something that, caught my ear as a kid and just to hear stuff like that blood of a slave hot of a king i didn't hear stuff like that in my era of music that much like you got to think i'm born in 1990 i hear gangster rap <laughs> and then you know we get the sprinkles of like backpack in there as well but for the most part i'd never even no one even told me as a black man that i was king up until that point you know what i mean uh so i just love that fucked up part about that the very next song he's totally destroying <laughs> black <man. laughs> ether comes on and i remember ether dropping it was such a great time man just to be in school and having these debates like yo you hit take over you hit ether which one you think better and he, you're having these debates at outside at, at recess pretty much like it's crazy like it's crazy that that was talked about like that lower level uh that young of a level but to me, Ether is one of the greatest. There's nothing I can say about it that hasn't been said. I think Ether is one of the top five disc records of all time. Uh, some of my favorite lines in there was just way more. Um, I would say it's way more. Uh, it's way more lethal than Takeover. Obviously, Takeover is the better song, but I think the stuff Nas said in here it touched Jay Z so, like, cause he's so cool. Like, it's hard to break that cool shell of somebody just like Hope, but Nas found that cheek in that armor that. That ether, that shit that make your soul burn slow. And it's my one of my favorite lines is from this song, so I'm gonna save it for the end of the episode. But ether is just to me, 
either is just great. <laughs> like either is just great. You go from that to Got Yourself Again was like the first single. And to me, it doesn't age that well with the Soprano sample. One thing I do remember about that song was the actual video when um where he portrayed like Biggie and uh Pac before their death. So he does the ball head and the picture right before the last picture that we the famous Shook Knight Pac picture in Vegas. But that's the only thing I remember about this. Listening back to this album now, I was like, eh. Uh, like he he has some bars in it. Don't get me wrong, he's not. You know, like especially the bars about uh, but the QB don't stand for no quarterback. Like just that whole metaphor he put in there it was just dope. But song itself, I think it's mm, smoking reminds me of a like some West Coast dash type of beat. I'm not sure why this song's on this album though, especially at the spot it's in. Like I can see why you got yourself a gun is on there. But smoking is just it kind of threw me off. Always though, even as a kid, and tell me what y'all smoke, yeah. But kind of like it, kind of <laughs> it, kind of always threw me off in the midst of that. Maybe it would have came later in the album, which I have problems with later in the album too. Some songs, but I don't know. It, it just didn't fit for me. And even with that, maybe it's just the hook, cause I do kind of like the beat. It's kind of like this. It's I don't know. It's like dark candle lit, kind of menacing, kind of thing. Uh, even the way he's rapping on there, but I don't know. It's a skip for me. You're the man, and then I think we go on the three best songs in the album to me. You go from You're the Man, Rewind, and One Mic, and Second Childhood at a fourth in it. You're the man. I think that's what Large Professor. Yeah, Large Professor. I remember hearing that song and as a kid, and it has been my favorite song at 11, and it's been my favorite song at 31. So <laughs> many years later, it's still my favorite song on this album. It's just what did he say? It's a line in there. He said. They plan was to knock me out the top of the game, but I overstand. They truth is all lanes. I hope I hope cannons that shoot balls of flames right in their fat mouth. Then I carve my name. Nah, it's too real. Nah, it's true king. It's however you feel. Go ahead, you swing. Your arms too short to box with gods. I don't kill soloists, only kill squads. Fame went to their head, so now it's fuck Nas. Nah, yesterday you did beg for a deal. Today you tough guys. Cause you gotta think of this time. Jay-Z wasn't the only rapper catching strays. I, I always felt prod felt bad for Prodigy at this time. He even though he dropped a fucking classic with HNIC, but he was getting attacked by Nas and Jay-Z at the same time, and that had to be one of the biggest battles to fight ever, but Nas was going at Prodigy, he's going at Cormega, he's going at Hove. That line, I, I don't kill soloists, only kill squads, is one of the hardest bars I ever heard in rap. Like, even he alludes to uh, Hove, to me, and his baby mother when he says, uh, I kept changing on the world since barbecue, now you wanna hang with niggas I hung with, fuck bitches I hit. It's funny, I once said, if I ever make a record, I take a check and put some away for a rain the day to, rain, to make my exit, but look at me now, 10 years deep, since the project bench with the crack in my sock asleep. I never asked that we on top of raps elite just to get a child trying to learn the traps of the streets, but look at me now. Like, psh, you're the man. That shit is crazy. Give me time to explain. Women in fast cars and diamond rings can poison a rap star. That, psh. you go into rewind. And just to go from you're the man, rewind, and one mic, and just his storytelling ability in all three of those songs, all different types of things. You go to one mic, and he's letting you know all I need is this microphone to get, to be me, to be free. And, the story he paints on there and the, how it gradually builds and gets this climactic thing and then it drops back down. All I need is one mic, one mic. One of the greatest songs ever. I think it's top five Nas records of all time. I think it's one of his greatest songs he's ever written. Um, up there with uh, New York State of Mind, uh, Vibe Rude the World. I Can, I think, is up there. <laughs> but I think that's one of his greatest records he ever written. It's just... Everything about it, from production to lyrics, it's it's un it's indescribable. Rewind's dope too. Not to skip over it. Rewind's dope too. I remember listening to that as a kid and just like, damn, he's really telling the story backwards. Even the padding pattern of the words in the sentence, which is like a whole another level. That's just like some psychotic uh, <laughs> rapper shit. Like he killed it with that. Like no more stories in hip hop. Nas told the story backwards, bro. Like. The bullet went back in the gun. The wound closing up a nigga. Now he back at square one screaming, shoot, don't please. Pff, what? Second Childhood, as a kid, I always thought that song was just dope. Uh, I love that beat. I love that sample flip. Even now, I try to flip that sample, but I can never do it. Uh, like Premier, obviously, he's the god. But I can't even figure out how he made it sound so good. But as a kid, it kind of that song kind of made me not want to be a loser <laughs> when I got older. <laughs> Those, I always tell people that hip-hop... Uh, 
was probably my biggest teacher in life. Uh, no disrespect to my parents and old heads and family, whatever, but hip hop was probably my biggest teacher in life. So hearing these songs and you hearing about the woman in her second childhood or the guy who's 31 still living in his mom's crib, ex-convict, uh, breaking his mom's furniture, watching Comic View, something I didn't want to do, you know? So like, thank you, Nas. <laughs> Destroy and Rebuild, I think, is another diss record. And listening back to it now, I feel like Nas was... I, I know what state that Nas was in at the time, as he touched on on Godson. If you haven't checked that out, my review on Godson, I'll put it up here. But I know his he felt like his back against the wall. He was shooting shots at everybody from Queens, Nori, uh, even Cam caught shots, Jay, uh, Prodigy, like Cormega. Uh, everybody was catching sh shots, but... At least at the end of the Destroy and Rebuild, he says, like, you know, and I still love you, though. Like, it's just time for all the sucking shit to go. So I respect that aspect of it, listening back to it in retrospect. The Flyers with AZ, cool record. Nowhere near. Uh, I get why they had to do this, because they had to do Life's a Bitch. They did Life's a Bitch, and this is, like, Stillmatic Part 2. So AZ, I get it. But I think, again, I think AZ had the better verse. I do like how Nas comes in. I do what I do when I do whatever, you know. When I do it, like, cool, but... Once the album hits 10, 10 through 14, I think they need to be. I think he could have took some of those records from uh, Lost Tapes. Uh, and this is just me. So we get to The Flies. It was cool. You get to Rule, which which I think was a single uh, with A. Marie. One of the first times we heard A. Marie. And they also did some work on Streets Disciple, too. I got a song on there that I like. Not bad. Not a bad song, you know? Uh, I think it's the predecessor for uh, I Know I Can. So that's cool. But my country, no. Before I forget what goes around, Poison. Uh, I love that fucking beat on there. So let me not say that. I love that beat on there. But you know what I really love more? And this is for the real hip-hop fans. The G-Unit uh, version of this song. Uh, you, can, you can say what you want about me as long as you don't get in the way of my money. If you remember that G-Unit drink from one of their first mixtapes. I can't remember if it was on No Mercy, No Fear or uh, God's Plan. Or maybe automatic gunfire but if you remember that leave a comment and then it's a limited edition bonus joint with pretty much all the songs that's from lost tapes which is crazy like if he would have took some of those songs from lost tapes no ideas original you gotta love it my way do rags and put it and replace the latter end of this album i would say this album was a classic but since i'm only like we're really going for real for real and it's still a flowers episode but you got Ether, Got Yourself a Gun, You're the Man, Rewind, One Mic, Second Childhood, Destroy and Rebuild. So half the album's good for me. Like, I listen to half the album. I'm listening to probably seven songs on the album. And that's fine. <laughs> like, that's fine. It's still a great album nonetheless. The rest of the songs are not bad. It's just not my cup of tea. Let me get into the best songs since we're here. One Mic, You're the Man, and Second Childhood. Uh, worst song, My Country. Absolutely My Country. Best line, it's off Ether. For sure. He said, y'all niggas deal with emotions like bitches, which is sad as I love you because you're my brother. You traded your soul for riches. My child, I watched you grow up to be famous, and now I smile like a proud dad watching his only son that made it. You seem to only be concerned with dissing women. Were you abused as a child, scared to smile? They called you ugly? Well, life is harsh. Hug me. Don't reject me or make records that disrespect me. Blatant nothing directly. That's the coldest shit ever, and I'm pretty sure that was the line that destroyed Jay-Z. <laughs> like and when he heard Ether, like, oh shit, this is crazy. But let's wrap this up. In closing, like I said, I wanted to give flowers to this album. Uh obviously let's just celebrate these hip hops reaching these milestones of twenty years, twenty five years, and things of that nature for one. But two, like I said, I think it's the album that saved Nas career. If Nas doesn't drop this with though with the song Ether on there, with the if he didn't say if he didn't do this one i don't know it'll be tough how we talking about nas now that's just me though and for that fact it's a great album you know what i mean uh and some of the best songs some of the best songs nas has ever written rewind um uh one mic ether uh, you're the man so fucking dope man second childhood is dope yeah it's some dope it's some dope moments on this album it really is and um I, for that reason, I wanted to give it some some love, you know? Uh, and I haven't seen yet people talk about it. I got an email today about the merch. I might cop something. But I haven't seen really people talk about this anniversary that much. They, maybe that's just me. Uh, maybe it's just my algorithm. But you guys let me know what you think about Stillmatic. What do you think about his region's 20-year anniversary? What do you think this album ranks in Nas' discography? 
and let's get into the classic battle in the comments <laughs> let me know some of your favorite songs on here and let me tell me what song you like the least on here as well uh and if you haven't checked out my nas this is probably my six nas review at the end of the video i'll have it up here somewhere so just stick around <laughs> uh and that's pretty much it don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button as always i'm tatum flowers for nas stillmatic peace